So this is my first official weigh-in in six days since my cut started. 233. I lost about nine pounds the first week. I understand that that's totally normal for my body. That's not actually nine pounds of fat. That's probably about, mm, I'm going to say three pounds of fat. And the rest was just water and just getting my body getting rid of the BS that I've been eating for the two, three months prior to me starting my cut. So that's success. I definitely wasn't under eating. I was eating the way I should be eating at about 27, 2800 calories for my cut. But that's week one in the bag. I'm excited. This is gonna happen. It's starting. To, my my abs are starting to come back. I'm feeling a little leaner, and this is just week one, so it's going down. All right, so boom. When you're doing the the bent over rear delt flies with a dumbbell, you want to control the weight. And you also don't want to extend your arms too far because that's when you start incorporating your back muscles. You want to hit the rear delt. So you just want to bring your arms up just high enough so that your rear delt is activated. Pause a slight second and then return it back down slowly. So I'm finishing my workout with 15 minutes. Yeah, I'm gonna do a, well, it's a little bit more than 15 minutes. I'm gonna probably do between 15 and 20 minutes of high intensity intervals. It's not a lot of work, but you gotta make sure it's intense. Make sure you sweat your shirt out. A good way to finish this workout. No matter, I might be the one that trapped. Yep, yeah, get in front of that guy. The big man, it's gonna be 15 that's sitting right here. So when that man goes, you rotate over. The first game, you didn't rotate over at all. You gotta rotate over and get in front of him. Say this is his best AAU performance that we've seen. 
He's looking real confident. Um, oh yeah, so I was telling y'all earlier, he didn't want me to, he didn't really get that much playing time because he's making a, he made the transition from AAU, I mean from Rec League to AAU, and the level of competition is way more intense. So he was kind of embarrassed, I think. But uh, he's getting some pretty good playing time today. He's, he's looking poised out there, so. He just made two free throws. Yeah, so stay tuned for his AAU journey, man. We got a lot of work to do this summer, man, because these kids are on another level at, at the AAU level. So. But I think he's going to be good, man. We just, gotta, we just got some work to do. Good work, boy. All right, so this is my little lunch. I crushed some of these rice, what do these call that? These Quaker rice cake chips. The ranch flavor? Oh my God, bomb. And then I'm putting some of this good. This ain't guacamole, this is just avocado. I just put avocado with salt and pepper on that junk. Probably about four or five ounces of chicken. This is just like a snack. I'm gonna probably have some ice cream with my dinner. So I'm saving some calories and some carbs for that. So this is like a little light snackish type lunch. Cutting season is here. My first official weigh-in was this morning. As you guys know, I lost nine pounds. It is not all fat, but I'll take it. That usually happens my first week of cutting. It's like a drastic weight loss. For these cutting, these cutting videos, I'm gonna answer two questions from the current video that's posted. And I'm also gonna give you two tips. So I'm on my way to the park to do some work. And uh, so let me look, let me look. Jasmine Wise, I hope I'm saying that right. She asks, great video. How, how will your training differ? How many extra cardio sessions will, will you have per week? My training is gonna differ substantially. I was doing strength training before I started my cut and I was just doing hot, low, low reps lifting heavy weights. So it was a really slow paced workout. So my, my rest times would be three minutes in between sets. I was doing very low repetitions. I was doing sets of five, sets of the most eight. So it was just a different pace and I hardly was doing any cardio. Um, now, I started off my cutting program doing sets of 20. I'm doing three sets of 20, and I'm also adding at least three to four cardio sessions each week. So that's the main reason, the main way that they're differing. But I'm also kind of designing the program as I go. Uh, like we did some hit, we did some hit yesterday. So it's gonna be a mix, but the, the main difference is definitely gonna be the intensity and uh, the volume of cardio. It's gonna be a, a lot more reps, a lot lower rest time or you know that's the two main differences in the way that I'm training going forward for my cut Jose Burgos asks, thank you for what you do will you be using BCAAs during your cut absolutely now more so than ever because it's gonna be way more volume in my training and it's gonna be way more cardio um, and as you know I work out fasted most of the time I do intermittent fasting and it's super important that when you're training a lot of reps and you're doing a lot of cardio, that you protect your muscles from atrophy. So I definitely will be taking BCAAs during my cut. Somebody give me some cool shit. Hey. So today's cutting tip of the day, right? It is super, super duper important that you learn how to track macros and that you learn how to count calories accurately. There's a difference. A lot of people do it, but a lot of people do it incorrectly. It's super important that you do it. Now here's why. Fat loss, is a numbers game, right? So you, it's possible to lose weight without tracking. If you have a lot of weight to lose, you are less likely to have to count calories and to have to track macros. But once you start getting lower in body fat percentage, you are going to have to learn. So I think it's a good idea to make it a habit from the beginning. The second tip, you need to learn how to cheat. Now. Understand that cheat meals are very important. You need cheat meals. You need to restore your leptin levels, which is the hormone that that uh, is responsible for fat loss. But you need to know how to do it. Now, for one, never have a cheat meal on a day where you're not working out. You actually want to have your cheat meal on the day that your workouts are the most intense. If you cheat like how I cheat, listen, when I have a cheat meal, 
I mean, I don't go overboard, but I definitely make sure I enjoy it and I have enough food that makes me feel really satiated. So I tend to skip a meal that day. So for instance, if you know you're gonna have a big cheat dinner, you would even skip breakfast or lunch and just really enjoy your cheat meal. That way, the caloric surplus for that day isn't so extreme that you pack on a bunch of body fat. You kinda wanna find that range where the cheat meal actually works for you instead of against you. So I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you guys for tuning in as always. Stay tuned because this this uh, cut is about to get real, y'all. Like, I'm gonna start leaning out. Yeah, your abs gonna start popping up everywhere. Your veins gonna start popping up everywhere. Like, stay tuned. Follow me on this journey. I'm gonna release the program as soon as I'm, I think I'm gonna release it about eight weeks from now, give or take. But stay tuned, I will give you guys updates. Um, every few vlogs or so keep you posted on how the program's going but i'm excited about this y'all shout out to the brick squad make sure you uh tell your friends about the channel if you have not subscribed please subscribe right now and i'm just trying to share the wellness with you guys so get well and get money